Okay, this is part 11. Um, we've gone through and we've made it so that when the user, when you play the game, you can hit the numbers 1, 2, and 3 and get different camera views with the numbers 1, 2, and 3. The goal right now is just to create a system where score is uh, kind of kept track of, okay? What we did in one of the previous videos was we set up a message. Um, down here we said uh, we detect a collision and we send a message anytime uh, an object with the property ammo okay hits it and that message says hit count right and over on the right we've got um, this empty that receives it listens for the message hit count and then basically just does a little math it adds the value one all right to a property in our game right now that is called HC that is an in integer so anytime this particular target gets hit by an object tagged with the property ammo HC goes up by one okay what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drop to layer two and I'm gonna zoom in on my ammo now I basically replaced the spear with this model this is our frustrated Falcon okay um, we are the Kruger Falcon so we're gonna call this frustrated Falcon um, I've gone through and I've set this up just like I did the sphere you know basically it's just got a property over here that says ammo okay we're gonna add um, a broadcast message so that every time it's created it sends a message too. okay so I'm gonna go add sensor and we're gonna set the first one to always and then we're gonna go and okay and then we're gonna add an actuator and it's gonna be message alright and uh, let's go ahead and connect the dots And okay, so down here for the message now, we're gonna leave the two field blank so that it will send a message to every object in the game and the subject will just be um, fired because this will indicate that a shot has been fired. Um, a projectile has been launched. So I'm gonna type F-I-E-R-D once again, just in the body to be safe. So now um, basically, okay, what this will do is anytime you, this enters the scene, it will send a message that says fired. So what we need to do is we just need to set something up to catch that message. Um, if you can do that without watching, go ahead and do it, but I'm going to do it right now. Um, I'm going to go to layer one, okay? And I'm all upside down. I'll use my empty over here, okay, that is um, adding to the value of hit count. And we'll use it to value uh, add to the value of fired as well. So I'll add another message um, detection device here and uh, the subject is going to be fired. It's gonna listen every time it hears that. We're gonna add another AND controller. And I'm gonna go ahead and link those two up. Then we're gonna add a game property, okay? And I'll go ahead and I'll call the game property something like, um, yeah, let's call it fired too. All right, so we have a game property now called fired. All right, and I'm gonna choose add actuator. And we're gonna add um, a properties says property all right we're gonna change it to add as well and we're gonna add a value okay fired itself needs to be an integer because we'll be adding up so I'm gonna go ahead and change that to integer we have two properties on this empty now HC and fired um, okay um, and we're gonna to add to the value by clicking here it's gonna give me a, a drop-down screen and I'll say okay we're gonna to add to the value of fired one now up at the top I've already got game and then show debug properties check that's important we need to um, press the little I here okay and uh, that will show the debug properties for fired as well now if I hit play alright let me go ahead and zoom in so we can read this alright find a good spot alright I'm gonna hit P to play now we can see up in the top corner okay we have uh, HC equals zero fired equals zero I'm gonna fire a shot fired goes up to one but the collision did not go up because I didn't hit right so every time I fire a shot it adds but only when it uh, of course collides all right let me see if I can get something to collide with it just by pressing there um, so basically, uh, when it, you detect a collision, it will register one, and every time you sh uh, fire an object, it will um, register another value. The value of fired should be going up every time, and the collision counter should only be going up when you impact the target. All right. Um, in this way, 
in the next video, okay, there we go, I got a collision. So up at the top, HC equals 1 and fired equals 2. In this way, we're going to check in the next video for the number of projectiles that have been launched. Um, if the user la launches, let's say, 6, it's going to reset the scene. But if there are maybe three collisions made, we'll go, ahead, we'll go ahead and we'll advance the user to the next level. So the goal would be to score three hits. Okay, um, so that's it. Um, take a look at the next video where we uh, implement the scoring system and uh, reset the scene or advance the user to the next level. Thank you for watching.